everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to yet another weekend reading vlog. Hi, hello. This weekend is very exciting because tomorrow I'm inviting a little kitto into my house. I'm getting a cat. The little kitty that I mentioned last week, Gilbert is his name. He's coming tomorrow. <laughs> which is very exciting. Today I just picked up a few things that I need for him. I think I'm okay and I'm ready. I, <laughs> I've never owned a cat before, so it's all new for me. <laughs> I stood in the cat aisle today and I was so tired and I was just like staring at all the cat stuff at like Petland. And I was just like, I don't even know what to get. Cause I don't know what he likes. And I know cats are very particular about toys and, and things. So I was just like, I guess I'm gonna have to buy stuff when he's here and I like figure out what he likes to do. <laughs> so, cause dogs are so easy. You can, you can get them with anything. Right? Cats, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I have a few things that I picked up and whatever. But yeah, tomorrow a little Gilbert is gonna be here. And then I get to spend the weekend with him and the rest of his life, <laughs> of course, but I have a weekend to like have him settle in and everything and get used to my place and used to me. So all very exciting, but what else is going on? Not a whole lot. Since I'm here this weekend, it's just gonna be me and Gilbert. I'm gonna be reading a lot, playing a lot of Skyrim because I'm back on that. <laughs> and today I went to the library and I picked up some new holds and some new uh, graphic novel and Once the Future Wishes that I thought looked cool. And I still have three from my previous go for, no, four. Eight library books now that I need to read. <laughs> Which is so many, but that's okay. I have officially renewed one, because uh, it was supposed to be due in tomorrow, and I hopefully will keep reading that. It's The Tiger's Daughter by K. Arsino Rivera, and I do hope to read that, but the most exciting thing is I got my pre-order of Temple of No God in the mail today. I really want to read this right now, so I actually had a plan on rereading Hall of Smoke and then diving into Temple of No Gods. I think that's what I'm gonna do because I am currently about three chapters into my reread because I brought this to work with me this week. So I think that's gonna be my plan. That's gonna be my plan of attack is uh, rereading Hall of Smoke and then reading Temple of No God. I would love to be able to do that all in one weekend and I will just ignore all the other books that I currently have on the go because I'm... <laughs> reached the point. And if any of you are like this, if any of you are like me in that you read multiple books at a time, I have reached a point where I very rarely get to this point, but it is like my version of a book slump because I haven't been in a book slump since I was a kid. After I had read um, Harry Potter, I was in like a years long book slump where I couldn't read anything else because nothing else was good enough because I was that kid. <laughs> I was that kid. I still read, but like nothing was great. Um, but I'm now as an adult because I read so much and I absolutely love it. I get to the point where I have too many books on the go. <laughs> because I just keep starting them and starting them because I want to read so many things. And then I get to the point where I'm like, I don't know what to read anymore, so I just don't read. So this is my version of a book slump and I'm in that. So instead of being smart and finishing one of the books that I have on the go, I'm gonna just start Hall of Smoke <laughs> and reread it and then read Temple of No God afterwards. That's my plan for this weekend. It's gonna be a good weekend. I'm so excited to introduce you guys to Gilbert. Hopefully he's not camera shy. But other than that, not a whole lot going on. It's just gonna be a very, very chill weekend. I've, January has gone on for years and I need it to end. I need spring to come. February is also usually just a bad month. Even though it is so short, the weather is terrible where I am. It's just so cold. <laughs> so fingers crossed that February goes really quickly and then we get to March, April, which, you know, are usually spring months. I say that with a caveat because Canadian, spring doesn't come until like May, <laughs> but March and April are better than the freezing deep freeze of January, February. So I just need that. I need it because January is the worst month of the year and I'm just exhausted. So anyways, right now though, I ha was watching Friends. I'm currently on season eight, episode one. I just remembered that the Legend of Vox Machina was released today, the first three episodes. So I'm gonna watch those. And I'm very, very excited about it. I was listening to the soundtrack at work today, just getting so amped for this show. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna queue it up. We're gonna watch Legend of Vox Machina, first three episodes. And I think that's all they've released this week. And then every other week they release more. But oh, I'm so excited. Anyways, I'll catch up with you guys a little later. Here we go, here we go. So excited. Long ago, in another realm. Hello, friends. I am now parked in bed. It is much later. 
I loved those first three episodes of The Legend of Vox Machina. I knew it was going to be brutal and I knew like they were not holding back because it's like an R-rated cartoon, but man was it violent and I love, love seeing how they're turning like D&D fights into on-screen stuff. And we actually got to see bits that we don't actually see in the streamed campaign, like the whole General Krieg thing. Ooh, was it good? <laughs> was it good? And I love playing a little game of like, where's Matthew Mercer? <laughs> Who's he npc Because you can just tell. You know when it's Matt Mercer. Even though he's doing voices and stuff, you know it's him. And it makes me so happy. Anyways, loved the first few episodes. I don't know how I'm going to wait until next Friday for the next one. But alas, I have to. <laughs> that was my evening. Then I just watched a whole bunch of friends and kind of just hung around on Skyrim until I got to a point where I kept dying. And then I was like, all right, well, we're going to call it for the night. Because <laughs> I keep dying. <laughs> so... Now I'm here in bed and I'm all prepared for my little man Gilbert tomorrow, I think. I'm like physically prepared, mentally I think I'm prepared cuz like I'm just a little on edge cuz cats, I don't know how to I don't know how to cat. Um, but I know how to have animals in my house cuz I'm such an animal person. I've always had pets, um especially dogs, and I've had like hamsters and fish and birds and stuff throughout my life, so like I know how to have pets. So it's not new in that aspect, but like cat, I'm excited to see how he likes my place. <laughs> to see if he likes it at all. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, I'm in bed. And now I'm going to read some Hollow Smoke because I think that's just gonna be my weekend is I'm gonna try and get through as much of Hollow Smoke and Temple of No God as I possibly can. It's probably not gonna be all of it since I don't have the audiobook for either book because Scribd put the audiobook for Hollow Smoke on hold reserved until February 10th. So freaking out free and script putting things on hold for me. Don't like it. I don't know if the audiobook for Temple is even out yet. But if I can find them somewhere, I might find them somewhere and use that to help me listen because I haven't listened to the story before for Hollow Smoke. So I think it would be kind of cool to reread it in that sense. But yeah, that's what's up. That's what's happening. Tomorrow is Gilbert Day and I'm excited and nervous and not, not even that nervous actually. Anxiety was pretty low today so Who's to say? Anyways, yes, my friends, I will catch up with you tomorrow. We'll, we'll see how much I vlog tomorrow, but tomorrow's Gilbert Day. Saturday. It is now much, much later in the day than I intended to update this vlog, but I'm here and I've got a little Gilbert hanging out with me. He's currently hiding in the bathroom. I was hanging out with him in there all day that I had him. He came around 1230-ish. His owners dropped him off um, and hung out with him for a bit and he like explored, but as soon as they left, he just like retreated to the bathroom and, and has been hiding in there all day. But I got tired of sitting on the bathroom floor, so I came to sit on my couch instead. And that's where I've been for the past little bit. But I just wanted to pop in because I've officially finished my reread of Home Smoke by H.M. Long. And oh guys, I just love this book so much. It completely blows me away every time. 
that I even think about it. Like, and this reread was perfect, perfect. God, I, there's so much happens in this that I forgot happens. Oh, so good. Anyways, so yeah, I'm done that. And I ended up finding the audiobook for it actually on Audible. So <laughs> that's what I did. And I actually pre-ordered the audiobook for Temple as well, even though that only comes out on Tuesday. So I don't know if I will have finished it by then, but I like having the audiobooks of these as well because the narrator is so good and that's just such a familiar way to read stuff and reread and you know, all that kind of stuff. But for now, I'm gonna eat my supper because I made supper. If you guys haven't read Hall of Smoke or, it, or this is H.M. Long's, Hannah Long's like first book, if you haven't read it and you love fantasy that is just sweeping and fantastic and the world building is just so incredible and intricate and it just takes you on a vast sprawling ride you need to read this you absolutely need to read this and temple of no god which is the second one just was released in the uk on tuesday this past tuesday and is coming out in canada and the us this tuesday but a lot of the pre-orders are going out really early which is why i have mine now but i've just been desperate for it because it's <laughs> shipped like over a week ago i'm so excited to read this i'm watching some friends i think I might rewatch um, The Legend of Vox Machina in the first three episodes or put on D&D &D just in general because I'm craving some D&D &D right now. Either Dimension 20 or go into the original campaign for Vox Machina. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm going to watch something for now and just kind of hang out have a really chill evening. Saturday evening, I guess. I should also update you guys on like writing stuff as well. Nothing new is happening <laughs> since you guys have seen that uh, writing vlog of mine. If you missed that, please go watch it. It is the Query With Me writing vlog that I have up on my channel. It's, it's a wonderful time, but yeah, nothing really has happened since I finished that video, so tomorrow my plan is to just hang out here and do more Query stuff and read war, of course, because it is my goal to read this this weekend as well. Yeah, I plan on doing some writing stuff as well because I'm scared that the people I want to query are gonna close their queries before I get a chance to query them. So I think tomorrow my main goal is writing the synopsis so that I can query more people. That's what's happening. Anyways, my friends, I will catch up with you a little later. Hello friends, happy Sunday. It is 8.43 at night and I'm very tired. <laughs> Today has been a day. I've just, I've had no mental space for anything other than just like, just exhaustion and Gilbert. <laughs> That's about it. So today's been a day, but it's fine. Everything's fine. So yeah, I haven't done any reading, but I have revamped my query letter using, I believe it was Naomi Davis, who is a literary agent with Book Ends Literary. They posted a thread recently, I think it was like in the past couple days, where they detailed like what elements of a query letter really shine to them and like how to really craft a great query letter. So I ended up following that kind of thing because I figured now that it's been a week and I've received now three rejections, I'm going to revamp my query and see if that helps at all. So I've done that and I'm just gonna continue on the querying process. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> but yeah, completely revamped my query and I've just been kind of sitting here. I do want to do like a quick February spread in my bullet journal because I realized I totally forgot to do that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do now that I'm finished dinner and I'm just kind of sitting here. But I'm going to send, I think, one more query and then I'm gonna do that. And I'm currently watching Vox Machina. So uh, not the show, the campaign. <laughs> I've just been kind of hanging out. Gilbert's in his hidey hole because making dinner made him scared, I guess. But things, things are trucking along. <laughs> things are trucking along. I always forget how draining it is to have a new a new pet in the house paired with like january and bad mental health vibes recently it's just been a lot today has been a lot <laughs> but that's fine it's totally normal yeah i cannot believe it's already sunday oh my god i need i need like a week off i just need a vacation Ugh. anyways friends i'm gonna go do these things and i'll catch up with you guys a little later Hello friends, happy Monday. <laughs> I'm having a really bad day. Didn't really sleep last night. Gilbert and I are just not, not vibing. So he's going back to his previous owner tonight or this afternoon, actually. He's, she's coming after three to pick him up, but yeah. I'm just overwhelmed. I think that's what it is. <laughs> so I've uh, discovered that uh, cats are not for me. He kept me up all night yowling. Cause he's just, he's just, I don't know. I don't know, he's terrified. Um, so I don't want him to be like that and I can't handle 
this for another week. It's giving me the most anxiety. So we're just gonna go back to what it was before and that's okay, it's fine. Uh, my mom came over this morning and he's been just the most terrified. He's just so, he's so scared and I don't want him to be like that. And I don't want him to be unhappy. So he's gonna, he's gonna go back with his old owner and we're just gonna not I have an animal in my place because my place only allows cats or like smaller caged animals. So we've, we've, me, I have figured out that just cats are just not for me. I don't know what it is. We just don't have five. So one day when I move out of this place in 10 years or so, I will get a place with a yard so I can have a dog. Just a bad day, so I'll catch up with you guys a little later. Hello friends. It is now a lot later. I'm home from work and I've just been cleaning my place, hence my absolutely massively weird hair right now. Reading it of cat hair. <laughs> yeah, so bad day, but it turned around. Things got better by the end of it. Gilbert's owners came and got him and it was a pretty smooth transition. Totally fine. And I know it's the right decision for the both of us, like the cat and me, because if we just weren't vibing and he was just not having it, like, <laughs> The whole day he just hid in his carrier. He kept me up all night yowling for no reason at all. Absolutely no reason at all. And I, I told I told his owner that today, I was like, yeah, he kept me up all, all night yowling. I have not slept in like two days. I'm exhausted. So exhausted that I like, I felt physically ill all day. And she's just like, yeah, he never does that. He only yowls or meows when he's hungry. And that's usually in the morning when I'm awake for work. Like. <laughs> He doesn't do that in the middle of the night. And I'm like, yeah, he's not happy here. He's lonely. I think he misses the other cat. He like, he was getting brave and he was coming over, but he just was like, we just weren't vibing. So I think reality, I don't need a pet in here. I don't really want a pet now. Like I've seen it, I've dealt with it for a weekend and it's just mentally exhausting. Kind of a sour turn of events this weekend, but that's okay. It's really okay. I know my last clip, I was like crying. That's because I'm just dealing with incredibly delicate mental health right now. So literally anything I said would just like set me off. I was like, mom came over today because she was originally gonna paint my cabinets in my bathroom, but she's just like, no, he's too freaked out. I can't do that right now. It's just gonna make it worse. So but she, she hung out and like had a cup of coffee with me and she was just like, you are not okay. Like you keep crying. Like, this is not okay. <laughs> so I made the decision and texted his owner and she came to pick him up at about three. And uh, now my house is clean. My floors are washed. It smells good in here. And now I'm looking forward to eating some supper, even though it's nine, because <laughs> I just got home from work too. And having a sleep filled night where I'm not gonna be interrupted by yowling at three in the morning for two hours. So sad that I don't have a little kitty man here anymore. Cause I know I was very excited at the beginning of this video, but I'm happy that he's back where he, I know he feels comfortable. So that was this vlog. <laughs> so I'm sorry for the weird turn of events, but that was this vlog. I didn't end up reading any of Temple or anything else other than uh, Hole of Smoke this weekend. So end of January, I've read nine books and I really enjoyed pretty much all of them. So this was an incredible way to end the month and this weekend. Spending it listening to this was just fantastic. So once the, once my pre-order of Temple's audiobook comes in tomorrow, I will be reading that and listening to that as I go about my day. But February, I'm going to be doing a month long reading vlog for another Friends Pick My TBR, which is very exciting. It's a part three of that series, which is fun. There's a bunch of books on it that I'm excited for and ones that I, and they're all off my physical TBR, which is good. So I'm gonna read those and hopefully just kind of spend the month of February reading those and then a few books that I really do want to read, which is which is exciting. But yeah, my friends, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to like this video. And I do apologize for the very strange tone change throughout this video. I was editing it today and I realized how excited I was in that first clip and then you can just see my mental health decline through each clip, so. I'm feeling better now, <laughs> but hopefully the month of February turns that completely around and we have, we just have a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in another video very, very soon. Stay kind and keep on reading.